Welcome to the land of was, where nobody is like anybody you've seen before. The people who live in was are called wuzzles, naturally. And as you probably guessed, wuzzles are a little bit, um, you know, different. Anyhow, here we are again. Another typically magnificent day in the land of was. It's an ideal setting for a wuzzle picnic, actually. And what's a picnic without... Flants! I hate flants! Flants? Oh, I get it. A flant is one part fly, one part ant, and the rest is just plain annoying. <laughs> Yow! <laughs> Don't let them bother you, Bumble Lion. I'm not letting them. They're doing it on their own. <laughs> Plants have a strong instinct for sharing. <laughs> we'll be lucky to get our own share. I'm sorry, but you can't have my carrot butter and jellyfish sandwich. They ought to at least bring their own lunch. Ouch! You gotta be a fast eater around these flants. Hey, Rhinoki! Flants at six o'clock low! Stop them! Say, did you fellows hear the one about the guy who took a ruler to bed to see how long he slept? <laughs> <laughs> Bad Bumble Lion. Look how they helped me peel my banana bean. Yeah, they're just adorable little <laughs> creatures. Get away! Get away! Help! Hey, Rhinoki, save my apple melon! Hey, Moosel, over to you! Grab it, Butter Bear! Ugh. It went that away! Okay, Elaru, run out for a long pass! Yeah, oh, 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 I got it! I got it! Oops! Fortunately, Elaru is not injured, but the poor banana pine tree is losing one of its tenants. I can hardly wait to see what happens when that egg's mother finds her kid missing. Hmm. You okay, Elaru? Oh, yeah, sure, except for this funny feeling in my tummy. Hey, you laid an egg, Ellaru. Wow, look, I'm a mom. There's got to be a better explanation. Where did it come from? What kind of an egg is it? Looks like a pouched egg, and the yolk's on you. <laughs> Is this some sort of theatrical act, Ellaru? Oh, no, I... Oh, oh, it's moving. Oh! Oh! It called me Mooma. My son, my son! The fun is in the scramble. <laughs> oh, I break me up. <laughs> that poor egg is somebody's baby. We have to return it to its real mother. Tell that to Ellaru. And it's Bumble Lion closing in on the egg. Bumble Lion at the far turn, and now it's Bumble Lion in the lead. Bumble Lion and the egg in second place. Into the stretch, it's Bumble Lion and the egg, who is finding out that this race is not what it's cracked up to be. Now that's one crafty egg. Uh-oh! Uh-oh. 
I wish I could say it was nice running into you. <laughs> You're a million laughs, Rhinoki. Hey, Bumble Lion, where are you? Excuse me, ladies. Is this yours? It's polluting my lake. Oh! Oh, oh my poor, dear, sweet, over-enthusiastic Bumble Lion. Are you all right? Bumble Lion, speak to me. Speak to me. What a bear. Is that you? <laughs> Not exactly. Hey, come here, little egg. It's me, Mooma. Remember? Oh, oh! Uh -oh. Uh oh, looks like it's all over for this Mooma. You saved my life, little guy. You're an all-around good egg. Where's that egg? Is it all right? Totally. He's sleeping in my pouch. So what are you going to do with it, Ellaru? I'm going to keep it. We've already become close friends. But it belongs with its mother. It belongs with me. I found it. It's my egg. OK, we'll just have to wait until it hatches to see what it is and then figure out where it belongs. We're going to hatch it? Oh, gee, terrific! It's important for the egg to be kept warm. I'll sit on it. Oh, no, you'll crush it. Do you think the sun lamp is a hot idea? <laughs> okay, what'll it be? Tan, burn, bake, sizzle, or poach? Put it on hatch. Gotcha! How's that, little egg? We'll raise him to be handsome, like me. Or incredibly talented like me. Forget it, you two. Once this egg is hatched, we have to return it to its mother. Whatever and wherever she is. Look. Oh. It, it's hatching. <gasps> what? W what is it? Maybe it's a baby monster inside. It's... it's... Oh, I, I don't know what it is. Neither do I. But whatever it is, it's going to be very interesting. Ah, isn't he a cutie? He's adorable. So huggable. Just like you, Bumble Lion. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. Well, I thought he'd be funnier looking than that. What is he, anyhow? He's a baby Brahma bullfinch, naturally. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Very interesting. This is your basic Brahma bull. This is an everyday common bird, the finch. So here in was, they must have, that's right, a Brahma bullfinch. Kitchy, kitchy, cool little Brahma bullfinch. Is you a cute baby? Yes, you is. Careful, Bumble Lion. Oh, I know how to handle kids. Is you a pretty little baby? Hey, don't scare the baby. Yow! Uh -uh. Ellaru, that kid belongs with its mom. You can't take care of him. I can too take care of him. Watch. Here, little guy. Have some cow sheep milk. He doesn't like milk. Brahma bullfinches eat googleberries. He needs his mom. Oh, I guess you're right, Butterbear. But how do we find his mom? <laughs> Any minute now, they're going to figure out these creatures come from the forest, eat googleberries, and live in banana pine trees. Well, these creatures come from the forest, eat googleberries, and live in banana pine trees. So this baby must have fallen into my pouch after I ran into that banana pine tree. Right. And they're a very valuable species, you know. Why is that? Well, because well-dressed wuzzles make hats out of their feathers. It's all the raging style. Hoppo, we've got to take this kid and his teeth back to Brahma Bullfinch country. 
then it's all settled. We'll take the baby Brahma bullfinch back to the forest. I haven't eaten for so long. Every time I swallow, my stomach says, thank you. Yeah, I have some delicious food pictures here. Mmm, not bad, not bad. Could use a little salt. Come, come, there must be a picture of some dessert here. Uh, you know, Croc, yeah, I am so hungry, I'd even go to work. Picture of a hog dog. Picture of a double ram burger. Pistachio pizza. Wait, wait a minute. Work. Where'd you learn that disgusting word? Did you pick that up on the streets? <laughs> I'm sorry, Croc, sir. Yeah, I didn't mean it. Work. You should wash your mouth out with wuzzle soap. Yuck! I'll never say it again! Here, you're just in time for lunch. Have a tuna pork rose. I couldn't care less about... Did you say a baby Brahma bullfinch? Do you know what they pay for Brahma bullfinch feathers? We're gonna be rich, rich, rich! Let's go, go, go! I'm sure gonna miss this little guy. We've been together since the day he was born. This is it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> All right, it is a baby Brahma bullfinch. Good work, brat. You may be stupid, but you're not entirely worthless. <laughs> It's a long way to the top. Well, this is all my fault, so I guess I've got to do it. Here, hold Junior till I get a ways up. Hey, Alaro. Alaro's can't climb trees. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, back off, everybody. I'm taking over. Yeah! Boy, some takeover. Oh, there he is. There's my baby, my baby, my poor baby. Y your baby? Why, yes. I am Mrs. Brahma Bullfinch, and I've been frantically searching everywhere for... Well, please feed him, Mrs. Brahma Bullfinch. Feed him often, and, and remember, he likes to take naps, and sometimes... Uh, let me have the kid. Not Mooma! Not Mooma! He's so playful! Thank you so much for taking such good care of him, Ta-Ta! Come on, let's beat it. <laughs> hey, lighten up, Bellaroo. He's back with his mother. Oh, uh, I know, but... <laughs> Oh, I was really getting attached to the little fella. Oh, let's go. Cheer up, Ellaroo. We had some good laughs. It's a happy ending. Hey, what's that? And so, as Ellaroo, Moosel, and all the Wuzzles have learned, never underestimate the power of a mother to track down her baby. Well, now, let's see. Where are we? Oh, yes, we were in deep trouble. Oh, it's another Mother Brahma bullfinch. What does she want? Maybe she's a relative, but we're not staying around to find out. Hey, leave us alone. We're innocent. Yeah, please go away. We gave the baby back. She's so 
so heavy, the roof is breaking! I know it. She's just getting back at me. Can't we get her down from there? Hey, I've got an idea. Hoppo, you come with me. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna be homeless. Relax, Ellaroo. Bumbo Lion is still around. You leave that big bluebird to me. That's what I'm afraid of. Here, Toro Bird. Olay! See the red clock? Olay, Toro Bird! Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't look. Oh, did I get rid of her? <laughs> well, she got rid of you. I hope Butterbear comes up with a better idea. Well, I sure hope Butterbear remembers that Brahma bullfinches are very fond of googleberries. Sorry, all out of googleberries. But googleberries are all that Brahma bullfinches eat. We desperately need some to lure one off the roof. Sorry, just sold all I had to those fellers outside. Hoppo, look. Blizzard and Brad bought googleberries? You mean they paid for something? What do they want with all those googleberries? Butterbear, look. It's the baby Brahma bullfinch. No wonder the mother is so furious. He has to eat if he knows what's good for him. He's gonna grow big and grow more feathers for us to sell and grow rich, rich, rich. Look, their backs are turned. She's stealing what we rightfully stole. Stop her! Papo, come on! After them! There's a fortune in feathers getting away! Oh, we'll never get her down off there. It's Butterbear and Hoppo with the baby Brahma Bullfinch. Yeah. Followed by those loonies from the boonies. Come on. The excitement is building. <laughs> Which way should I go? Well, who cares? Just lose them. Stay on their tail. They've turned up our street! And then we've got them. There's nothing up there but my house. Onward! Where'd they go? Where'd they go? But this is Croc's house. Yeah, double trouble. Come on! They got some nerve trying to hide out in my place. We'll go in the back way. Boy, what a dump. This is no time to be picky. Find a place to hide. It's showdown time in Croc's house. Croc is after our Brahma Bullfinch baby. Let me at that Croc. I'll tear him up. Okay, Big Mouth, now is your chance. Hand over the baby Brahma Bullfinch or my guys here are going to get very physical. You'll never have him, Croc. Listen, Lizard Breath, he stays with us. You're asking for trouble, Croc. Mm. Yeah. You better not get Bumble Lion angry. Yeah. Why not? Because you're the toughest wuzzle on the island. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Better close your eyes. This won't be a pretty sight. Oh, looks like we're stuck. Hey, hey what, what, what's going on? An earthquake? What? Okay, so it doesn't look good. 
But now, up on Croc's roof, the local Brahma Bullfinch community is gathering in answer to Mama Brahma Bullfinch's call. It sounds like Brat with indigestion. I got power. Come on, we're out of here. Stop them. Wizard Brat, save me. Whoa, that sure brought the house down. <laughs> Poor Croc and his guys. Are they hurt? Sorry, we don't want any. <laughs> oh, hi. This must be yours. Mama, Moo, Mama, Moo, Wee, Mama, Moo. <laughs> That one was over easy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, gang, look what I just found. Oh, no! Well, folks, you guessed it. As they say, one good egg deserves another. But I'm leaving before this whole thing turns into a wuzzle omelet.